I don't know if I'm going to post this or not, so I'm just doing it at the moment just to get some stuff out. Um, I'm feeling quite emotional today um, because I just feel so horrible. I had nerve, nerve pain for three days straight um, and last night or this morning rather when I was trying to get to sleep I had really sharp pains on my left side of my ribs and my legs still hurt, my legs hurt even from all the nerve pain and I found that I had to get up and go to the toilet and walk, like walk and I'm just feeling, I feel like I've got this, like a really bad flu even though I haven't because I haven't been anywhere to catch the flu um, my voice and my throat are really sore, I've got a really blocked nose, my sinuses are hurting, it's, that's giving me a headache. Um, I can see in my pain, um, the muscles, like my every muscle's hurting, my joints are hurting, my stomach's been hurting, my chest is tight, um, I'm just waking up another day feeling like this just um yeah no matter how positive you might feel on one day it can just hit you again straight away the next day um didn't have very good sleep i didn't get to sleep until about seven o'clock this morning because of all the pain and just that's part of the yummy I really don't know why you just don't sleep normally like most of them you just can't most people I've spoken to this day normally get to sleep about three or four for some reason um my normal sleep pattern is is um I don't wake up I don't get to sleep till about six seven or eight um I don't know you're probably thinking that means yeah I get up late and I do um, so why don't I just switch it around and get into a normal sleep pattern? It's not like that at all. I've tried for years to do that. It does not work. If I fall to sleep at 7 o'clock and make myself wake up in a couple of hours and stay up all day feeling horrible and manage to stay awake, then I'm... And I've done this hundreds of times, so I know I still can't sleep that night. And then it just carries on to the next day and I feel horrible and I get ill for weeks. Um, so it's not a simple thing with the sleep to just sort in your sleep pattern out. It's not like that at all. Um, I've been given melatonin. Um, I take, you know, that's, that's a natural sleeping tablet. doesn't do a thing. Um... Even when I take painkillers that make me sleepy and drowsy, which I hate taking because I already feel so much like that, um, they I don't sleep. So, um, but yeah, I think maybe I will post this actually because it just shows a normal day really. Um, <coughs> I've had a great response of. Um, if I posted my last video on the lighter side of any and everyone on there um, was a mate like they just they said that they really feel that I um you know in a way I was a good spokesperson for them because of what I s like the way what I said but a lot of them um got quite emotional and they felt like I was talking about them which is so you can understand why I got emotional. I'm probably not talking loud enough. They did tell me that I didn't talk loud enough, but um so sorry if I've done that again. Just my throat's a bit sore, but um I hope you could could hear um everything. Um so yeah, I suppose it's another day resting in bed feeling horrible. Um most people when they feel like this they'd go to the doctors and I don't know I feel better in a week or something even a few days but um, the 
like being rid of one problem and I just start with the worst. It seems like I'm having a crash um, and because I'm severe already, having a crash is just horrible. It's a bad way for me to think to talk in this video. Um, so yeah, I just, for the people that aren't suffering, if there is any watching, I hope, um, I hope you do carry on watching because, you know, it's good to educate yourself on things even if, even if you haven't, you know, got anything to do with it. And, um, <clears throat> and, you know, God forbid it doesn't happen, but someone you know or you could end up getting this. And I didn't get diagnosed for seven years which I'm sure is why I'm so severe and um and it's probably prevented me from recovering um a hundred percent ever so if if people and if just if people know what it is and the, and the symptoms and and can learn to um like just be able to tell the difference from someone being you know being normal one down for a few weeks from stress and being ill and maybe working too much or whatever then to someone that's developing a chronic illness because <coughs> it is a big difference but the words that we use in this society are the same fatigued tired even a lot of people I don't say I'm fatigued to my friends or like my mum because it's they don't get it, it's just tired or muscle pain, you know, people that go to the gym they have that muscle pain um, the next day but it's nothing, you know, it's a hundred times worse than that um, <coughs> so yeah, I think it would be really good if if everyone, not just people suffering or watching this um, just to try and you know, just to raise awareness because millions of people suffer with this and in my opinion I'd say by what I know probably only a quarter of them have actually <coughs> been diagnosed. So that means there's all you know, there's millions of people suffering with this and they don't know what's wrong with them. And um people commit suicide over this illness. Um, one of the comments on the video when I posted it on the support group was from a lady um, where her friend last year had committed suicide because she couldn't take this illness anymore and that she had no help from anyone, no understanding and um, I think that's something that probably all of us have um, contemplated doing it's a horrible thing to say but it's true, I've thought about it loads of times over the years. Even before I, you know, well, especially before I knew what was wrong with me. Um, and to have an illness that makes you want to take your own life and seriously think about it and then not have that recognised by anyone that ha isn't suffering themselves. No, no one. Um, is, I think it's disgusting and I really do think the people on top that are in charge of the funding and and um, the educating of the GPs and you know just everything are, should be disgusted with themselves <coughs> but um, that's why I'm doing this and that's why a lot of people are doing things like this to raise awareness and cats come to say hello hello um yeah to raise awareness and hopefully you know even if it doesn't happen in my lifetime uh, hopefully for future people that are suffering and get this there will be if not a cure at least some sort of treatment and relationship with the gp or specialist because i've 
I know there's loads of people that don't, you know, I, if I was, I'm not well enough to go to my GP very often anyway, but when I do, it fills me with anxiety, I, I hate it, and I am, I'm basically just sitting there, and, you know, they are thinking, this person's exaggerating, this girl's exaggerating, I'm sure if she just stopped being depressed, and got out, and done things, and got some sun, that she'd be fine, I know they're thinking that, and some have even said that to me, one of my GPs, um, um, before I moved, one of my GPs told me that she's, um, her aim is to get me back into work, so that I can pay her pension, and said that, um, if I can't work in the day, then I need to get a night job, and if I can't do that, then I should move to a foreign country, where the, um, the times are different so rather than uh, and that was a couple of years ago so I was about 18 then and I was very vulnerable um, so rather than uh, you know looking into things she just she said that yeah which I was very upset about and um, and cried for the first time in front of any doctor or anyone um, and still didn't make a difference. Um, I think a lot of GPs <coughs> are very conservative, so they don't. They just want you back in work. They don't really care about your health. I'm sorry to say that, but it is true. They don't. In my experience, they don't care. They just want you out of their surgery and back in work. And. Um, it's it's not there. They don't know anything about it. They're general practitioners. They know general, you know, a bit about everything. They have no clue about anything. When I go to A and E, because I get recurrent urine infections and I can't make doctor's appointments because I don't know when I'm going to be well enough to go. So um, <clears throat> I end up getting a cab to A and E when I have to. And when I go to A and E and they ask me my medical history and I say I've got any, every single time they say, "Oh, what's that again?" They have no idea. Um, <coughs> even the specialist, um, my specialist is, I've only seen her once. Um, she, she, do you know what, it's, I'll do another video on what happened with her actually because it's a long story. And right now, I don't want to get angry, so. Um, <coughs> But yeah, so I've just done this video again to um, raise awareness and um, just get my thoughts and feelings out there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in and turn the light off now and lie down in bed. Um, I hope everyone else is feeling as well as they can be, um, yeah, make sure you all follow me on Twitter, my account to raise awareness is at, at sick looks like me, um, follow me, share the video, um, let everyone know what I'm doing, and Hopefully I can help some of you and help myself at the same time. Well, thank you for watching.